Blessings for a new government at the Temple of the Kings. Sri Lanka's new cabinet was sworn in by President Gotabe Rajapaksa in the audience hall of the Sacred Temple of the Tooth in Kandy. The Maligava in Kandy is seen as the sort of centre of both religious and secular power because the, the story is those who possess the, temp, the tooth will lead the country. You know, and there is all of that. So yes, a very strong symbol of the primacy of the singular Buddhist majority. 74% of Sri Lanka's 22 million people are singular Buddhists. A large number of them voted for the Sri Lanka People's Front Party, giving it 60% of the votes. The Rajapaksas have worked hard to get the support of the majority Buddhist community after then-president Mahinda Rajapaksa suffered a shock defeat in 2015. Many blamed minorities who voted against him in large numbers. But the decision to campaign on strong nationalist Buddhist lines appears to have paid off. First with President Gotabe's election in 2019, he was sworn in at an ancient Buddhist temple that represents historic Sinhalese power. His brother, Mahindra Rajapaksa, who got the highest votes of any candidate in the August 5th election, was sworn in for his fourth time as Prime Minister. He too chose an important temple where the Lord Buddha is believed to have visited with an entourage of 500. Saravanamuttu says, having adopted a strong pro-Buddhist approach in its campaign, the issue is how the government will proceed in power. Very strong sort of Buddhist orientation of the campaign, the reaching out to that single Buddhist constituency and all of that, that was very much for political purposes, to, re to, to reap that political capital. Once in government and with the very secure majority that they do have, the question is, is are they going to advance this to such an extent that everyone else is going to be ignored or permanently made the second class citizen or whatever it is? I suspect not. Minorities in the country will be hoping he's right. Al Jazeera asked people in Colombo about the new government. If they can't do, I don't think there is anyone who can do. I'm fed up with everything, so everybody is the same, so we can't expect good thing from these people. I voted for this government, and like me, all the people who voted for them expect a better future. 28 cabinet members and 40 state ministers have been sworn in. The Rajapaksas have acknowledged the critical role the Singhala Buddhist majority played in their return to power. And Wednesday swearing in is a nod to that support. But analysts say the government must serve all Sri Lankan communities to take the country forward. Minel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Colombo.